another insurrection. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Clarified Moments, where we hope to bring a certain level of clarity to your perspective, to your view, and to the last your hour here, a critical situation as they were taking. That could have been the suspect right there. That could have been the suspect there that they were taken away because that suspect was shot. But this is viewer discretion is all of course not. Not another insurrection. Why? I actually was planning on, on doing another video, but this unfortunate event actually ties into my Y series. Exactly what I was going to talk about anyway. So this evening it's been reported that there was another attempt to breach the Capitol yet again. But instead of it being done by some racist or Nazi or white supremacists, which is the popular narrative right now. It appears it was done by a black man who happens to be a Muslim, who is not a Trump supporter, who is not a Republican, you know, doesn't fit, fit any of these narratives that the main me mainstream media talks about. He was shot and killed as he rammed his vehicle into to officers outside the, uh, the, um, the perimeters. And, uh, there was a couple of officers. I know one in particular that was killed, but there was a couple of officers that were injured. Uh, now before I point out the soon to come zombie like thought that's going to come, uh, by way of this, let me, let me first send my thoughts and prayers to the, families of those who were either just injured and or were killed because of these injuries, including the, uh, the perpetrator. So what's this, this zombie like thought? Just wait for it. Um, they're going to cry for more attention to be brought to some mental illness because as always, there will be an excuse made. Depending, depending on what skin color you are, there's always an excuse. It's lack of opportunity, mental illness, police abuse or power, you know, causing, causing this person to retaliate. But most likely the story will be buried because, again, it doesn't fit the narrative. He won't be labeled a terrorist, nor should he, until after it's proven like it's supposed to go. Unlike the white guy who killed people at the spa here in Atlanta, where every mainstream media platform was, was hollering, stop the Asian hate, even create the uh, stop Asian hate hashtag. Even though there were a couple of whites who, who were killed in that shooting as well. There wasn't any way to get the facts in that story. Like it'll be in this story. There wasn't, uh, no, it won't be any jump to judgment. Don't rush the judgment. Like in this story, the white dude was crazy. This guy was crazy. And that's all should, that's, that's, that's all should be considered. No prejudgment concerning the crazy black guy. Or no prejudgment concerning the plain, the uh, crazy white dude. That's just the way it should be. And I don't really care because most people are not being true to the, to these judgment standards that they, that they dish out hypocrisy at every turn. And wh why can't we just call a spade a spade? See, he, we in the black community, this is what we do. We know what it is. We know what it is, as we like to say. That th there are people in our communities that look like us, who happen to look like us and have evil in their heart. In a lot of cases, we're the ones. I know I was one of them. That's why we're strapped up. That's why we, 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 we strap up in these communities. That's why we have weapons. It's a heart issue and not a color issue. The, the streets are doing, I'm in the streets doing everything unimaginable. It didn't start or stop because of the way I looked or how much opportunity I was presented how much money I had. It didn't start or stop because of that. When it started and stopped because of what was in my heart. 
When I changed what was in my heart, I changed what I was doing. And evil comes in all shapes and forms and fashions. We know that. It comes in all shades, braids, and fades. It's the belief system that, that you subscribe to that either causes you to do wrong or causes you to do right. And that's just what it is. The most confused you will ever get is when you try to convince your heart and spirit that something that 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 something your mind knows is a lie is the truth. That's the epitome of, of confusion. And, and, and there are a lot of people confused about this race narrative. Our, our ability to judge people is always weaker than what the true reality is. Always. And, and, and that's why that's why it's so difficult to judge what's in a person's heart. That's why, why the word says that man looks on the, on the outward appearance, but God looks on the heart because he's the only one that can do that and do it with a, with a, with a certain level of, of expertise. It's zombie-like thought versus clear conscious thought. And these so-called friendly politicians, I call them friendly politicians. They are friends to everyone. Uh, these fairy politicians, the ones promising to create this utopia, they're a part of the problem as well. They're a part of the problem too. When political power compensates for what is missing culturally, then the culture of political power will continue to contaminate the culture of humanity. Real talk. All this bitterness and jealousy, it's, it's, it's just... It's just a, a response to the culture. And to, to those of the household of faith who are promoting this division, soaking up all this bitterness, all this jealousy, all this envy, all this wrath, my, my question to you is, ye did run well, but what, what hinder you? Should you not obey the truth? Who you been listening to that changed your belief system? Because while you on, on this social justice kick, this social justice bandwagon, this equity thing, this, this equality thing, this inclusion thing, our true enemy is taking territory, real talk. We need to wake up. And it's not about being woke. It's about waking up. Zombies are woke. They're, they're, woke, they're woke in their pursuit of, of, of whatever they're trying to achieve, i.e. zombie-like thought. Walking zombies. There's a lot of people that are woke, but they're zombies because they're, they're, they, they, they have subscribed to a belief system that don't only, not only serve their greater purpose. It doesn't only, it doesn't, it, put it like this, it hinders their greater purpose but it also hinders the greater purpose of humanity because it, it drives division. To look at a person and judge them and, 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 and predetermine based off skin color, background, upbringing, all that stuff. And then co-signing and say it's okay because of what? Because of uh, the so-called oppression that that you've experienced, or but better yet, because someone else apparently did it to you, microaggressions, all, all that stupidity, man. It's just stupidity, real talk. If you come at me with that, I'm just going to tell you off the flop. I don't get down like that. Now, if you cross me, and this is how it's supposed to be. The Bible says, try the spirit by the spirit. You'll know them by their fruit. We're walking around right now and we're not even giving, giving people an opportunity to show their fruit. It's going to come out anyway. I just don't get it. I don't understand it and I never will. And until the end of time, until God decides to call me home, I'm going to call out this lie. It's a lie straight from the pit of hell. 
And if you want to have a conversation, we can have a conversation. But let's have a let's have a conversation based off truth. Truth of the matter is, like I said earlier, doesn't matter what skin color you are. If 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 you foul, if you clownish in your heart, you're gonna be foul and clownish in your actions. If you ain't solid in your heart, you ain't gonna be solid in your actions. And I just, I, I, I don't get down like that. And no one should. Does that mean I'm perfect? Does that mean that, 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 that humanity is perfect? Of course not. We all have our shortcomings and imperfections. But at the end of the day, there's only one thing. That's only one thing that can destroy the yoke of those shortcomings and imperfections. And help us reach our full potential. No one's walking, especially the household of faith. We've been, we, we jumped on this bandwagon and while we're on this bandwagon, the enemy is having itself a ball. He's tearing stuff up because we're seeing through the wrong lens. Come in in the comment section, guys. Let me know. Are we seeing through the wrong lens? Are we done got caught up in, 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 in this, 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 this racial identity thing? So caught up in it that we don't lost sight of who our true enemy is? That's my brother over there. No matter what he looks like, whether he likes me or not. We like to say, we love to say, don't judge me. Only God can judge me. But we go around judging people. And I, and, I ain't have no problem with it. There's a book called Judges. The big misconception about Matthew chapter 7 is that we can't judge. But we can. It just says that make sure that the measure that you're judging someone else by, just, just, just make sure you understand that it's going to be measured unto you. But again, it's time for us to wake up. Wake up. Pull back the layers. Remove the zombie-like thought. And the only way you're going to be able to remove it, like I've always said, is, is to operate in logic and reason versus emotion. Criticize your own thoughts. Have critical thinking skills, and which enables you to remove warped views and perspectives that hinder common sense. 